You're out there drinking IPAs. Be careful. I did the research. There's up to 350 calories in an IPA. That's the equivalent of one bologna sandwich. That's crazy. That means I go to the bar on the weekend and eat 13 bologna sandwiches. And then I walk out at 3 a.m. like, who wants pizza, huh? Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit there with your favorite comedians, and we find out they're to be classy. Yeah. Or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, Dave Trolley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here with Tootie's in a new edition. She's out in the garage. She has a plethora of old cable boxes. Okay. I think there might be a market for them. I don't know where she got them. Man, remember how those things Woo! were. Those you better bring that back. They'll Ooh. charge you $8 million. Those things were like gold back in the day, <laughs> dude. Get your hands on one of them off market. That and some, uh, what's it, ether cable? What's it called? Ethernet. Ethernet. Ether yeah. cable. <laughs> you and your boys smoking ether. Huffing cleanser. Huffing rags, dude. <laughs> Huffing rags. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He's an international businessman, and he's got a brand new special out right now, right below this on the old YouTube page. Check it out. Live from Philly. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Hometown boy makes good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Kid's got a hot one over there. Woo! 12 on your deep theater. He packs them out. Yeah. What's up, gang? Shout out to you. Thanks for all the love and support. We appreciate you. First of all, uh, if you haven't already, go over to uh, rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are true to rope. Cooking, baby. We love the community over there on a YouTube. Mm -hmm. And then obviously the greatest website of all time, www.patreon.com slash are you garbage. You get you go over there, you get sign up, you get up to two bajillion hours worth of content. And then you can go over to areyougarbage.com and get live show tickets. Get and, some techies. And if you've seen Foley's half hour special, you see mine half hour special, that's what you get on the road. You throw in some fucking T-Bone, you throw in some Tom Cassidy, and you throw in some AYG with the fucking crowd at the end of the show. It's a goddamn barn burner, boys. It's a good time. If you haven't seen the clips or our specials or anything, the fucking live shows are a good time. Check them out. Charlotte, Nashville, Tampa, Atlanta. First up on the docket. Uh -huh. Come out and see the boys. Congrats on the special. Thank you, buddy. Thank you very much. And congrats to our producer extraordinaire. The magic man makes us all look good. Works the ones, the yeah, twos, the threes, and the fours. Director extraordinaire. Kids are killing. Snubbed at the Oscars this year. <laughs> Give it up for T-Bone McStruffins. Toby McGowan, everybody. What's up, dude? Look what's, at you. What's up, I'm letting it go straight to my head, dude. I'm bossing Ooh. Luke around. I'm being a real dick to cab drivers. Man, I, <laughs> I, saw the, I saw the dailies on that thing. You really used me as a test market, didn't you? What? Really fine-tuned the process down there in Philly. <laughs> Holy shit. No, that's all Toby. I had nothing to do with it. Toby's Start calling me beta. <laughs> Toby is that right? Is that how they do it? The beta edition? <laughs> yeah, beta beta tester. Uh, <laughs> Toby sets up all the cams. The guy, I mean, listen, Toby does, it's kind of crazy. Toby does what, like, crews of people. And, like, people pay, like, tens of thousands of dollars to have their, their specials filmed. T-Bone just run and gun. Him and Luke run and gun. They do it all. They set it all up. It's just them two. Fucking bada bing, bada boom. I got no fucking. Both no... of them back there ripping vapes. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Getting the smoke you can, effect. You can see the fog rolling through some of the wide shots. <laughs> Every once in a while you hear, oh, what's up, dude? <laughs> oh, what's up, dude? Can I grab a club soda, bro? <laughs> With a line, please. Hey, thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. You forgot about Foley really gumming up the works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Foley. <laughs> everybody plays their role. I'm going to go back there in the green room and throw a little grenade every once in a while. <laughs> Stress everybody out a little During bit. the editing process, like, am I a producer on this? I turn around, he's ordering Domino's. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, which you were, you were grateful for that, Anthony. Which, show, which, right? which I appreciate. I also had a couple tequila and sodas. <laughs> I also got drunk and said mean things to your wife. <laughs> what? Okay, no, just, that's she what ratted did. me out. Congratulations to, to, to both of you. Unbelievable and you job. you as well. Yours, is, yours fucking 
cooking. It everything's fantastic. I love the fucking squad. It's a real bootstrapped organization over Great here. Great job. And again, I've said I, I love how we did it. How you have you got the club. <laughs> HBO said no. <laughs> Netflix said no. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, we didn't ask. We don't even ask. I don't don't put yourself in a position to have stuff taken away from you. <laughs> you asked the Verizon guy when he showed up. Hey, buddy, you got broadband here? You know what to be over there at Max? <laughs> you sound like a dad telling his son why you buy used cars. He's like, they can't take away a used car. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I paid cash for this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> See that tow truck ride through the neighborhood. <laughs> Everyone starts getting my dirty. special gets repoed. <laughs> um, oh God! Shout out to the f- also. I mean, like I, all of this couldn't be done without the fucking army of garbage. You guys are. I mean, fucking, the greatest ever. The it's, army of garbage. I mean, like the way they fucking show up, the shares, the fucking everything's fucking the, the 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 outpouring of positive. It's your guys are the fucking best. The best. And you hear from all the guests that we have on the show that, that we'll bump into a comic after they've done the show like a month or two ago. They go. I was just in fucking Seattle, and they come up and they go fucking army of garb. It's you guys are the fucking, literally the fucking best. The best, love you. Um, what was that? <laughs> there's a, there's a fucking. I was gonna let it go. <laughs> I don't know what that was. He's having a flashback of being at a drive-through. I don't like that. Looked like you were trying to catch a fly that wasn't there. There was a pigeon on the window before too. I didn't like that either. There's oh. fibers floating in the air. Yikes! Yeah, that's how it starts. Um, what? Speaking of crazy, okay. uh, and speaking of our good pal Tommy C, Tommy Cat Daddy Cassidy, who's always on the road with us, mm-hmm. uh, he brought something up to me today that I thought that is only a trashy thing that people say or 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 buy into. First warm day, all the crazies are out. It's true. Is it? That's like the full moon thing. Oh, it, it's a full moon tonight. It's going to be a crazy night. I think. There, but he said the same thing. He's like, he's like, yeah, it was the first warm day. Everybody's out. I have heard the thing. Yeah, of somebody it. got stabbed somewhere yeah, or I, something uh, like that <laughs> in his neighborhood. So, somebody blew their brains out. <laughs> oh, it's, it's finally shorts and Glock season. Yeah. <laughs> uh, shorts and kitchen knives. I think it's one of the things of it is nicer outside, so more people are outside, hence more crazy people are outside. You're outside, you witness it, you see it That's more. That's a real pattyism. But I think the full moon thing, I remember my, my aunt worked in the ER for a very long time, and she said full A lot of werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Toby's getting good. You beat me to it. Like an old man's getting <laughs> fucking <laughs> slow off the line over here, huh, big? A lot of Frankensteins, huh? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Not bad, D. Uh, it must have been a hardship with the mummy running around. <laughs> but she said. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get your back. Row, you really are a foley, huh? <laughs> One toke over the line. No, I knew what I was doing. She said uh, every fucking full moon, the, the fucking ERs were fucking packed. Can you see if there is any? There's got to. I mean, the, dude, the, the moon controls the tide. There's got to be some blood pressure thing at least. Maybe. It gets you a little loopy I, I or just something. Saw, I just saw a graphic how the uh, how the moon um, uh, controls the tides. Like it had a little planet with little waves on it and the, and the thing going around. Mm-hmm. It's really crazy. I never understood. I remember I never understood what made the waves as like a young, as a, as a wee man. But I remember my buddy was you like. You belly flopping into a pool. <laughs> my buddy thought it was done by boats. And I was like, nah, it's, I, I, there's not that it's many. A lot of traffic. I'm like, there's not that many boats, dude. Not by boats. <laughs> and he's like, well, then what is it? I go, I don't know, but it's not boat. It's Mermaids horsing around out <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, I don't know what it is. They told us that when we were kids about the thunder and lightning. God bowling or something? Yeah, bowling. Bowling in heaven. Oh, yeah. Real trashy spot up there. <laughs> Going for a turkey. That's what they're doing up there. Oh, uh, you, you got the big dog it's, drinking it's beer. It's Tuesday right? nights. It's dollar games. <laughs> Must be a league night really Man. coming down out there. I've said this before, but my favorite fucking in between, I would go back home in college summers. And, uh-huh. Uh, the, what was it? The, the Brunswick Zone or whatever. Brunswick Zone Lanes. Oh, okay. The bowling alley, man, on Tuesday. I thought it was a weather thing. No, on Tuesday. Got caught in a Brunswick Zone. <laughs> Low pressure brings out the Brunswick zones. <laughs> My two pays flying off. Bunch of um, Jersey fives running around. It was dollar beers and dollar games. I believe on Tuesday nights. Woo wee! Go in there. And that's get just it. that's just fight night. Oh man, you'd be awesome. I do like a bowling alley. I'll slipping tell you that. in those shoes and stuff. I played not that long ago, and I usually hated it, but the the round went by real quick. Mm-hmm. It's good when you're hitting them. When you stink. It's it's no fun. Yeah, it's no fun. When you yeah, when you're when you're when you're when you're fucking when you're locked in. 
Yeah. Throwing Shocks them, tonight. Shutting them down. I got you on the uh, full moon crime rate. Sure. Okay. Uh, multiple studies. Uh, it's a popular idea that the lunar effect has an effect on crime rates, but the results have been inconclusive. Those studies, none of them are real. Of course. But here's my question to you. When you hear inconclusive results, do your, does your brain go the good option or the bad option? I go, it depends what the test, if it's like a blood test, I got it. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? If yeah, it's a, this in my head, I go, well, they didn't do the right research. If I got inconclusive on like a stress test or an EKG, oh my God, I'd be playing in the beef and beer. Done. I can't have it. I got high cholesterol. <laughs> I just I just found out. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Triglyceride ah, Perry uh, over it, there. It, 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 I mean, that was a stretch. <laughs> Still work though. Uh, uh, yeah, I got a uh, high cholesterol. Not super high, borderline high to high. It's Did they high. say they want you to go see a cardiologist or anything like no, that? No, I just said diet and exercise. <laughs> okay. Well, so in three months. Talk about, talk about inclusive. So, <laughs> so a death sentence, huh, Doc? <laughs> so, in, so in three months, I'll see that doctor. Well, we gave it a shot, Doc. Huh? <laughs> I had a good run. Also. <laughs> got a gun on you? You know, I didn't know. He, I knew heaters weren't good for you. Do you know they increase your fucking cholesterol? Yeah. I'm screwed. They're bad. I yeah. got off the red meat and turned on the heaters. <laughs> I didn't know I was just doubling down. They're bad. The red meat doesn't, that that's all right. Uh, I don't think so, no. No? No, I don't think red so. Red meat's no good? Uh, they got to make up their minds about uh, this shit. Eggs are good. Eggs are bad. Well, what's the deal? <laughs> I don't know. It's all fucking marketing, man. Yeah, it's all bullshit. Yeah. It was all, you know. It's all scam. Also, had me eating fucking 11 servings of bread every day. <laughs> That's why I struck out in junior high. They did the food pyramid based on you? I that was I, the study? I thought I was going to be the fucking toughest kid in junior high. I'm over there eating fucking 11 bagels a day. <laughs> Turns out dinner rolls slow you down. It's a lot of carbs. <laughs> Have you guys had the little miniature bagel? They're almost like donut holes from Dunkin' Donuts with the cream cheese on the inside. Ooh, No. no. Maybe the greatest new product to hit the market no food wise. I can get down on that. Unbelievable, toasty, warm, gooey in the I, middle. I'm, I, I, I've said I'm very anti Dunkin' in the in New York. The Dunkins in New York are fucking horrible. Dunkins in the burbs. Forget about it. And let me tell you something. Right. I remember what I wanted to ask you guys. <laughs> what? Go ahead. Did, did you guys know that Dunkin' does extra it large? Was it Dunkin' coffee? Donuts thing? Yeah, that's crazy. I, unbelievable. This guy's locked in. I know. <laughs> Did you guys know they did extra large coffees? Yeah. I had no idea. I this think everywhere group. does extra what are you large coffee. No, 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 no. Uh, Starbucks doesn't do an extra large. Yeah, they do Venti's. Yeah, Venti dog. No, that's a that's a large. No. no. Uh, the small they do a small, medium, and large. They do a the It's big. how big what are you talking about? Like a big gulp? It's massive. It's the biggest yeah, coffee I've, I've ever ben, seen. I've seen Ben Affleck walking. No, around a grande this is like a this is like a bad bit from the night from yeah. the early two thousands. A small is 12, a medium, no. Ooh. Because there's three options. It's tall, whatever, and venti. Tall, groundy, and venti. Okay. Small, medium, large. Duncan's got a fourth option. Oh, I, dude, I, that, that was my whole thing. I would do extra large, extra, extra. That is extra a, cream, extra sugar. That's enough coffee for everybody on the job site. You wonder why your cholesterol is <laughs> I wonder why my hair's falling this out. Guy's half, this guy's half, half, and half. <laughs> that's a quarter half. <laughs> this guy's three eighths half. <laughs> I'll say this uh, about the good people. Everywhere, but that's not everywhere has extra large everything. That's not true. You rarely you see get an extra, extra large, large pizzas. You get extra every, everything. You get extra large. I get. A I lot can't extra. believe you thought this was gonna stun us. Yeah, too. that's crazy. <laughs> I had no idea. Also, you're not the thing. I have been ordering. If they got extra large on the menu, I ain't ordering. But I'm saying it's a rarity. Extra large pizza, I'll give you. But everywhere else, there's nothing extra large. This is Why crazy. Is that that crazy? This, this is crazy that you're blowing your mind. Yeah, they, they got they, they got rid of it everywhere. They got rid of the super size. That was the that was the McDonald's extra large. Which That's... was a mistake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> man, they were right. What they should have done been tied up in litigation about for <laughs> years. What they should have done, and which I still think they should do at Mickey D's and stuff like that, is you should be able to have options. You can get the large, but you don't have to get the large fry. You you should be each item should be uh, do medium a medium or large. this, a small that. Yeah, because I would do a medium soda and a large fry if I could. Okay, my girl doesn't finish hers. I get the rest. I mean, of that. McDonald's has extra large coffee. Really? Yeah, medium, small, large, extra Man. large. 
You're nuts. Well, why don't you unplug is... from Fortnite for a couple of minutes and get step out there out in the oh, real world? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I get play... some fucking boots on the ground. Take, I... the, take the VR headset off. I play Call of Duty ranked. Hit me up. <laughs> Are you? Oh, well, yeah. In the world? No. It ranked in what? It's like a mode. It's like a competitive mode. Where you ranking, you work your way up. It's good. What's your number? Not great. Lay it out there. I was in the top 20% of players last year. Uh, in the I world? He's fudging the numbers. He's giving you the political numbers. In the world? Uh, of people who play that game, yeah. Yeah, he is, he's really backpedaling. Of people who have ever seen an Xbox, sure. <laughs> With long, reddish, curly hair. <laughs> it's not as impressive as it sounds. This is what I wanted to tell you. Dunkin' Donuts does not get enough credit for the for, for the innovation. Because that's pretty crazy with the bagels and the cream cheese inside. Question is, how I'm a little are shocked they? it took them that long to think of that. It's pretty good. They got the little munchkins with the they get, they're they right there. Which they I'm, got the donuts with the cream in them. They got the munchkin. Just it's been in front of their face the whole time. There's few probably the goddamn FDA. There's few things, movies, bands, et cetera, et cetera, that have second lives the way the munchkins did. Because I remember when they hit when I was a kid, they were huge. Everybody was rolling in, and then when you guys were kids. They really came back with that. I, uh, they were that became the go-to instead of mom's making cupcakes. Sorry kids. to cut you off. It was you showed up with the thing of munchkins. Show oh, chocolate, of course. Elementary school with the box of munchkins. You went around and yeah. gave everyone to everyone on in your class on the desk, and then we were allowed to go to like give them to our favorite teachers or whoever. Like I'm going to go give one to the gym. That was a great way to get out of class for ten minutes. Plus, yeah, I was gonna say that's just take a couple of munchkins. Nah, I was eating them like fucking tic tac. That's just that's just Kippy smoking cigs and eating <laughs> eating donuts behind the gym. I'm leaning out the door. <laughs> How many munchkins was? Uh, w- w- was a serving for a child of your stature? <laughs> Three. This is where I'm. What bad would you be happy this with? Is, I'll, I'll tell you. No. This is why I'm. Ba- this is why I'm. I'm a fat ass, and uh, I still do this. Things of that small, I don't add them up. There, that's not like a. That doesn't even qual. If I were to eat twenty Munchkins, and then you were mm-hmm. like, "We're gonna go get breakfast," I'd go, "Yeah." Because that's course. not. I don't. So there is no. That's an appetizer. There's no number that'll fill me because mentally, it's uh, I'm taking an aspirin. You know what I mean? They should make one big munchkin. That would be cool. It's called a donut. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking idiot. Do it in ball form. A big, like a softball sized munchkin. Big munchkins. Extra large munchkins to go with the extra large coffee. Cut that. Set up a meeting. <laughs> Get Matt Damon on the phone. He knows that Ben Affleck. <laughs> yeah. Big Duncan guy. Yeah, I mean Dunk. I mean, yeah, Duncan. Uh, I I got to go the dark roast at Dunkin. Yeah, but I love I love Duncan. They they just uh, Duncan and Seven Elevens have slipped in most metropolitan areas. You go out there in the in the burbs, they're nice. They're you know everything's nicer in the burbs, baby. You ain't lying. Everything's sweeter out there. Seven Eleven, another organization with an extra large. They got the extra large. This is what you're not. I thought no, in my head almost what, everybody. Did you weird. hit your head before it's, we start? No, recording? I'm saying the extra large is is a thing of the past for the most part. I think. I don't think so. Well, I'll give you that. Maybe there's no more three liters. Exactly. Yeah. I guess. But, I'm sure you can get your hands but hold on, on three liters. It, it, if you look at if you look at McDonald's large soda, that's really an extra large. They're huge. If any cup. Okay, hold on. So, if any cup has the thing that goes out. Because the the ass of it doesn't fit in the cup holder. Yeah, <laughs> that thing's got junk in the trunk. That's an extra large to me. <laughs> I like I like my sodas with a dumper on them. Yeah. Hey gang, a quick word from Fume. Breaking a bad habit is hard. We all have routines that are ingrained in our brains, and choosing to do something else can really suck. Fume can help you with that. It's an innovative, award-winning flavored air device. Instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. Instead of harmful chemicals, you get awesome flavors. Instead of electronics, Fume is plug-free, so you're not walking around looking for holes. You know what I mean? It's not about giving up your habit. It's about switching it up to something that's healthier for you. Fume has been a great supporter of the show. They've sent us their product a bunch. It's easy peasy. It takes your mind off the thing. You just... uh, it's kind of like what you want, but you switch it over to something more healthier. It's fantastic. Fume even has released a cool metal stand to hold your device so you won't lose it around the house. Here's the turkey from Fume. Start the year off right with the good habit by going to tryfume.com garbage and getting the journey pack today. Fume is giving garbage listeners 10% off when you use the code garbage to help make starting the good habit that much easier. That's tryfume.com garbage. Code garbage. Do it. Fume up, gang. Shout out to True Classics, gang. You know those old smelly t-shirts that smell disgusting? Yeah, you can get rid of them bad boys now and make the switch to True Classic 
It's one of my favorite teas. I love the shit out of it. Their active wear is made with stank-free moisture-wicking technology, so whether you're out working on the treadmill or you're going on a beer run, you're going to smell great. I made the switch to True Classic about four years ago before they were even a sponsor of the podcast. They're fantastic. That's why I'm winning the Black Tea War of 2024 versus H. Foley himself. Not only does True Classic help you kick the B.O., everything looks amazing, too. All their shirts are made to accentuate the places the eyes go to first. It's tighter in the arms and the chest, but loose around the midsection, so you look like an ex-fucking linebacker. It's fucking sweet. Uh, the best part of the True Classic sells their premium products and packs to help you save. Get started with the two or three pack of t-shirts today and feel the difference for yourself. So if you're ready to upgrade your closet, shop now with our exclusive link at trueclassics.com slash garbage and save up to 25% on your first order. Support the show and tell them we sent you. No matter how you move, make 2024 your most comfortable year yet with True Classics. Do it. If your soda has a muffin top. Oh man, you want to I was at a I was at a Wawa this morning out in the burbs. Sure. Man, I saw and I obviously I got the bad news of the high cholesterol back, so I'm I'm eating a little better. I went there to get some eggies and a coffee. Uh-huh. Uh pick up a dozen eggs and a, and a, and a, and a coffee and they Wait, got, hold on. You bought eggs for the house at Wawa? Yeah. Who? What? Yikes. It's the closest thing. It's a widow shit. My mom does that. <laughs> By a half a dozen over there. <laughs> no, well, she'll take some Lucy's. <laughs> I just need three. <laughs> I'm two eggs short from an omelet, Tuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you buy eggs at Wawa. I, just because it's a one-stop shop. I, you got to also think the burbs. It's not like I can. I mean, I got to get in the car, then drive fucking you know ten minutes to a grocery store, park, go in. You know, huh? It's not like that's just like I. I I'm see, that's where you and I growing up. Out. That's where we grew up differently. Is that we never. You used Wawa as a grocery store. We never used Wawa as a not I, for eggs. I've well, never, maybe. I've never gotten like a pound of lunch meat at Wawa. I know you have. Oh yeah, I remember my mom <laughs> got in a fight with the guy at the fucking at the one Wawa man. She, and I, she had a matchbook under the scale. This is the first. This is this is the first time I heard. In real life. Well, let me talk to your manager. The guy was like, I'm the manager. I thought he hit your mom with that. No, she was like, <laughs> let me talk to your... Some, something was happening. I don't know. Maybe she, he wasn't slicing the, the thing. Thinner. And it takes a lot for her to go. She's not the she's not the one to publicly, like, you know, start, Irish Catholic. Start. You sit there, you eat the shit, and you go home and complain. Talk yeah, shit about him. Yeah, she come she, back later at night and wet you. <laughs> <laughs> Get him when he's taking out the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Not so tough, are you now? She Shaggy. gives one look around at the cameras and just walks out politely. <laughs> yeah, shows up in a tracksuit late yeah, night. Yeah, no, we would do lunch meat there, but never that was like in a pinch. Lunch meat in a pinch if she wasn't doing a full order. Or I don't whatever. know what it would have took for Patty to buy lunch meat. It was the same while. shit. I think it was all Lando Lakes or whatever you were banging <laughs> back in the day. This is before Boar's Head cornered the market. Yeah, it's true. Uh, but Starbucks has uh... shit. You found it. I was looking at. I was. Yeah, <laughs> they have fucking yeah, six sizes. They have four. They have five sizes. Short, tall, grande, venti, venti. trenta. Yeah, yeah. They actually have a demi too, which is three ounces for the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> for if you want to feel like you got you big do, hands. Do you do a pop cup when you go to Starbucks for the, for the doogie? Uh... You're starting to. I, I will. Uh, That's the goddamn cutest thing I ever seen in my life. It's the greatest. He Any looks, place that has a pup cup, let's go. But he freaks out. <laughs> if we turn the corner, he knows I'm going into Beezy's. He gets fucking <laughs> real fucking. You can't tell him shit. He needs his fix, Daddy O. Uh, yeah, I'll do him every. Not too much, but yeah, from time to time. He's got high cholesterol. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> <laughs> Runs in the family. Goddamn bad genes I got. I wonder if you can tell if a dog has high cholesterol. Oh yeah, I think so. How would they get high cholesterol? All the you know, little Maybe piece you of just lunch feeding them like cheese? bacon and shit. Sure. You were feeding you were feeding them fucking prosciutto in here or something the one day. Oh yeah. And he went home and threw up. Yeah, it looks a little mortadelle. <laughs> He's <laughs> got a little Italian in him. <laughs> one of the cutest videos ever on the internet is a is a little a little uh, kitten getting a pup cup and just stuffing its whole face in. It comes uh, out covered in white. Looked like Foley in two thousand three. How the drugs you? I was going to say, I wasn't on whipped cream back then. <laughs> I was on the end of the cans. No, that's a real choose your own adventure. Yeah. That could be fat or drugs. Sure. <laughs> sure. Did enjoy a whip it in my day. Uh-huh.
Fair enough. <laughs> you hear that, guys? <laughs> Gang, that's either here nor there. My, my drug history is not to be put on trial here. We're here for what we like to call a little family episode. Just the boys, the bozos, and the homies. As you know, when you sign up for the old Patreon, you can have a question read on the air with me and Kipperino and the T-Bone. Mm-hmm. Shout out to that mother for all the fucking uh, homies and bozos out Love there. Uh, so here we go. Let's get into it. We got a lot to get through here. I got a $10 homie. Never had one read. Is it garbage that the way your dad taught you how to defend yourself is straight out of Roadhouse? <laughs> Recently rewatched and he even used the same lines. <laughs> your mom's got a, <laughs> got a boot knife. Um, Does that not seem that was the worst? Who the hell was going in there? Talk about going in for I a never, casual drink yeah, on a go Friday. Go hit the go hit the Applebee's or something where you're Dude, not going to get roughed up. Eat some guy going at your larynx. Uh -huh. That's your first move. Um, I was late. Obviously, uh, what year would you say Roadhouse was? <laughs> Probably '86 or something like that. I think you nailed it. I want to say '88. I mean, I was too young to watch it. Like I caught it '89. '89. There you go. I had known it as. Not the not a joke, but like you would hear, oh, this place is like Roadhouse. Like mm -hmm. I, before I had ever even seen it, and then I probably watched it probably in college. Like fully, you would see scenes, but like fully through, I crushed it in college. Man, that gets real kooky. Oof. Not like burning down houses and like crushing I, cars with a monster truck. And I couldn't stuff. remember. Yeah, what was the guy's deal? He wanted to take over the town. I don't know what the bar had to do with it, but yeah, he had like a he had like a like a like a squad of goons that they were, were just like, like killing people. They were like murdering <laughs> fucking murdering people and setting buildings on fire. Like no one cared over a bar. Yeah. I, I hope the first move that dude's dad taught him all was ripping a guy's guy, throat out. All because they're like, "Don't fight in here," and he's like, "Well, I'll burn this town to the ground. <laughs> I gotta fight in here." Dalton, <laughs> shout out to Sam Elliott, man. Uh, it was something else. But that it's was something else. That was, uh, I loved it. I mean, it is the perfect amount of cheesy. It's the perfect amount of. Swayze, like, baby. Uh, yeah, Swayze is. I a, caught a look at that um, Dirty Dancing a few weeks ago because the, the lady was watching it. Mm -hmm. Whew, man, that's a movie and a half right there. It's all right. Uh, again, never. Really? I, I see. A I young Jerry Orbach? I remember my sister Middle watching age. it. Like, well, watching it, they were like, whatever. It was like on TV, on like TBS or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he had a tight little body back mm -hmm. then. Tight. And uh, Jennifer Grey. <sighs> Loved her. You know what we're talking about? Oh, yeah. Are you still thinking about the extra large thing? <laughs> <laughs> still trying to get your head around that. It's not common. <laughs> it's the, it's, 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 it's the, uh, it's crazy. <laughs> Everywhere has an extra large almost of everything. That's, that's, that's wild. What about the movies? I'll give you this. <laughs> Do you remember for a minute at the movies what the extra large was? It was a bucket of it was a popcorn bucket. Do you remember that? Maybe it was only in our area. I could have sworn like it was a, like, like you would take home and you could use like you could like mop with. <laughs> no, they like, just they just kept that around for you. <laughs> no, dude. I remember for it was a, like a minute, big cardboard bucket at AMC. Oh, that's all we or got. Regal. Yeah, it was it was. But no, it was one of the round popcorn buckets that was a, that was a soda. You had to hold it with two hands. Was the popcorn or was the soda? It was the soda. Oh, yeah. It was Extra like ridiculously yeah. big. Oh. It was like a bucket of soda. Uh-huh. That goes back when I it goes back to the Wawa this morning. The guy, oh man, I was so jealous. Apparently they brought Wawa brought back like the the waffle breakfast sizzlies. Ooh. So it's like instead of the griddle, like the you know, the McGriddle of like the pancake, this is more of a waffle. Like it's a Which I respect. It's a bacon, egg, and cheese with waffle top and bottom. <sighs> man. Man, this guy Ooh, this this guy, man, this guy, you could you could hear him getting fatter in front of me. He got that. He got uh two of those and two uh Dr. Peppers for breakfast this morning. <laughs> man, what's that A one C doing? Oh, dude, he was, oh, man, Woo. he was struggling. And he was a construction worker too. I don't, I don't know. He must have been a union delegate man, or something. He's no good after lunch. I'll tell you oh, that. No. That guy's blood sugar is. In the basement. Well, when I worked for my family's construction company, we were never allowed to take lunch because of that. It was it's always the worst you, idea. He goes, you're, my dad would always go, you're not worth shit when you get back. Just work through and we'll knock off early. Yeah. He goes, man, talk about being sluggish after a chicken Ooh. parm at fucking 1030. When I was working for the, the guy that remodeled houses, it would just be me and him, middle of winter, ripping out a kitchen, lunch, overdo it. Wawa classic, big turkey hoagie. Chips, soda, tasty cake, something, and then sit in a warm car on a cold day in an empty neighborhood in their driveway with the heat cranking, listening to like 610, like just, you know, mm -hmm. sports radio on. 
And, dude, after that meal, just nodding out. Dreading trying to get it For, like, 15 minutes, and then you just hear, all right, and you hear that creak of the old truck door open, like, come on, let's go. And you'd be like, ugh. Yeah. Brutal. One of of my favorite moments of all time, man, we were fucking uh, taking all the scrap metal out of a factory. Uh, It was all in the up and up. As one does. (laughs) We were working for the owner. It was Uh, a hospital. It's it's still open. (laughs) Hey, buddy, you're going to get off this bed. (laughs) I need this gurney. Um, And uh, so we would, you know, at lunch, we'd go to this uh, little bodega right next door, and they had boiled hot dogs. Oh, man, we would each get two or three hot dogs, <laughs> and we go I'd each get a soda, bag of chips. Man, everything was like less than a dollar because you know this is like two thousand five or something like that. You know, and down in this is in South Philly, so it's like you're going to like a real fucking low end corner store, mm-hmm. and we gotta get a fucking duffel bag full of fucking dogs for the team and everybody. I you knew whatever I was low nothing man like the, a bag of hot dogs. I was the low man on the totem pole, so I had to go run and get everything. And we'd come back and we sat at this old conference table that was like you know we fucking all covered in shit. But man, them hot dogs were the best Ooh. thing in the world. You'd all be like sitting on like old office chairs, like you could flip over a bucket and sit on that man and just fucking. Couldn't tell me shit for those 30 minutes. I found myself in a Home Depot not that long ago. And <laughs> Blacked out on chili. <laughs> and, man. I came, too. They had the spot right out front built into the Home Depot. Oh, they're famous. Uh, they're, Rocco's. They're, 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 on a, they're at every Home Depot location, Dude. pretty much. Man, that was one of the best sausage, uh, Italian sausage I ever had. Took everything in my power. And when you get over to the gardening area, I usually like the smell in Home Depot. You know, you get the sections. You get the wood smell sure. when you're over in lumber. You get the outdoor gardening smell, like that smell of, like, uh, miracle Grow or mm-hmm. Roundup or whatever it is. But, man, they must have had the, the vent pumping in there to get you by the registers. Yeah. It's <sighs> Rocco's. Rocco's Italian Sausage, a cold favorite at Home Depot stores in Philly to expand to Bucks County. Shout out to you. Um, yeah, but I think they're, they even have them out at... Uh, this was in Queens. Yeah, in Queens and Long Island and stuff. But it's got to be, like, a city-esque thing. Took everything in my power not to wander in. Yeah, they look. It's fucking amazing. I would, just I would had lunch. I would think you would be like, did you know you could get hammers at the sausage place? <laughs> <laughs> you guys sell top mulch here. <laughs> What's Dude, this orange place at that to the building? Are they open? Is that your landlord or something? From a fucking from a business standpoint, that's brilliant. Because who's running? Construction workers are in Home Depot every day. Yeah. So it's like, oh, we're running back. We're on it. Just grab it. You know, grab a sandwich here. That's brilliant. I always said that they don't do it. Maybe some of them do now, or maybe I'm just imagining it, but they should have impulse buys at the register, like Twizzlers and gum. They do. They have that now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I I always thought that was genius at Staples. Remember Staples? They were the ones that started doing the big buckets of Twizzlers, and they had, like, the candy and stuff like that. Similar idea, because that's something that you want to put out in your office. Yeah, of course. I love those Swizzlers. I I remember the first time I really got a fa- I bought something at a car wash, like an air freshener or something, you know, like I was waiting for my car to get clean. Mm-hmm. And on the receipt, it, it was instead of saying like air freshener, it said impulse buy 350. And gotcha. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Thrown on my face. Yeah, I'm like, you don't have to rub it in, dude. This guy saw me coming from a mile away. Dumbass purchase. <laughs> it just says sucker charge. <laughs> yeah, <I> was, <laughs> dude, what the fuck is that Extra shit? Extra large sucker charge. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> Chump tax, <laughs> and a little Dick V. Uh, you know what Home Depot has, and I always wanted them when I was a little kid, and Patty would never let me get them because I think they were a dollar when I was a kid. Those banging big lollipops, the round ones that are like super thick, they're like the size of a golf ball. They're in like a little tree. Man, the Chupa Chupas or whatever. No, Chupa Chupas. They're like a nickel. I love them. They're great. They had the. They had the. They had the chupas had the straw the stick. The whistle stick. Yeah. There was a little hole. You could play the flute or something. <laughs> yeah. No, mm-hmm. these are the big fat ones. I, I, you know what I'm talking about? They look like little globes. They're like super hard. And they were all different colors? Yeah. Like, like a size, big dum-dum. Yeah, the size of golf balls. Mm-hmm. I love a dum-dum. Love oh, a dum-dum. Man, I fucking. Whole bag. Crush them. My mom has them for the kids. Even the pineapple. My mom will have them for the kids, you know what I mean? Like, when they go over to uh, grandma's house, she'll, you know. That's like, it's weird that she, like, that's how I see her now. I'm like, oh, you're a, you're a grandma or whatever. There's no dum-dums when you were a kid. No. Uh, and, uh. <laughs> Just Skippy and his brother. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> you know, moron and moron. 
I want to tell him you said that. <laughs> Please tell him he's quite large. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and a little bit ornery. <laughs> I don't know who she was introducing you to. <laughs> in your kitchen in the morning. <laughs> um, but, uh, and she had it, and, or she left it down the down the shore, and then it got infested by ants, man. And that dude, they, these things must have been living there. They, they all died of diabetes. <laughs> those things, th- those ants were living their best Woo! life. It went out with a bang. So, we opened it up, dude. It was I've never seen anything like it. A couple of their legs were cut off. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me another grape. <laughs> root beer's the best, by the way. Root beer's great. Artificial root beer flavor. Anything artificial is fantastic. Any artificial flavoring. They Man, really, that was the fattest shit I've they, ever heard. They really, artificial cherry. And I never really appreciated it when I was a kid. Patty was always a cherry. She always liked cherry. Whatever it was. Give me cherry. I'll have cher- cherry water ice, cherry this, cherry that. Man, real home run. Um, <laughs> this is the show, gang. <laughs> All right, this one's from Ryan. Uh, this is just funny. Is it garbage if, if you watch The Sopranos until the age of five, you believed it was just another home movie of your Guido family? <laughs> Man, watching The Sopranos at five years old. Yeah, that's rough. <laughs> that's un, uh, un, what's it? What's the word? Un, gu- unguarded, un chaperoned. Yes, unchaperoned. Yeah, yeah. Yikes. Which I've said this before. I don't think there was ever any rule on anything I consume except hardcore porn. Boobies, or if it was on, I we would get we we'd have to leave the room when the boobies came on. I don't think there was ever like we didn't have any channel. We didn't have HBO until later, but like there was no channel that was showing tits. I couldn't watch a rated R movie till I was well into middle school. Oh, my mom had way bigger problems than caring about that. I would I would have to sneak him. I go to my buddy's Nathan's house, watch Predator and shit. It was awesome. You weren't allowed to watch Pre- anything violent. We were allowed to watch. Oh, it, that worked out well. Yeah, true. So you um, choke out an Uber driver the other day. <laughs> it's not true. Uh, just yeah, just like when they, I remember when they threw an animal house for the first time when the boobies came out, they make us go hit the stairs. But it was real loose. That's yeah. I, I mean, I get that. Um, I, the only, the one time I do remember my mom put her foot down was strip tease. And what were you doing watching uh, that? We weren't watching it, but my friend had... What did you try to make a move on that at Blockbuster? I think so. How about this? What? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, I wanted to see that Jesse Spano. What year did Striptease come out? Had to be late 90s. Yeah, 92, 93, maybe 94. 96. Whoa! Yeah, so I was probably 10, and my uh. buddy Matt had watched it, and he's like, have you seen this? I'm like, nah, but I will. <laughs> and I remember being like, well, they were trying to get it, and they Little were like... Demi Moore, huh? <laughs> Trying to see a little more. Oh. Is that her? That's the me more, right? Striptease. I don't know. I never saw it. <laughs> or you is got that fucking blackballed? Uh, yeah, striptease is her and Jesse Spano. Bing Rams. No, oh. no, no. See, we're getting two, two movies mixed up. No, Bing Rams is in striptease. Bing Rams, Burt Reynolds. Okay, Burt Reynolds is in striptease. <laughs> Demi Moore. <laughs> I missed a blockbuster. That's not the one with the girl from Nine o- from uh Full ha- um Saved by the Bell. You just named every show from the 90s. <laughs> the girl from Let's Make a Deal. There's... <laughs> Who wants to be a Bob millionaire? <laughs> Regis... Step by step, home improvement. That's not Regis filming. Saved by the Bell. What was her stripper movie? I thought it was Striptease up until now. I think what? it is. They were both in it? I don't think she was a main character. Yeah, she was, I thought. Her name's like Elizabeth Hurl. Not Elizabeth Hurl, but it's something like that. Don't get me started. Elizabeth Berkeley. Yes. Yeah. Was she in striptease? Give me one second. I got you coming up here. It was Screech. <laughs> Rest in peace, big dog. R.I.P. Damn, she's been working, dude. Uh, of course. 96. She was in White Wolves 2. Armitage 3. Doesn't look. No. She's yeah, she has another movie where she was a stripper. Fine. Oh, that that's she was that's in. all new. I thought that was all striptease. No. What? Uh, the perfect girl. Do they show cans in striptease? Definitely. Maybe not. I don't know if Demi Moore gets naked in there. It might not her, but there's got to be an extra walking around. <laughs> around oh, yeah. Burt Reynolds was, somebody, was a little loose back then. Somebody in the locker room. Showing full bird. Showgirls. Showgirls. Man. Man. I've, I've mixed those two up. And they've been I the know same there were some bozos at the house screaming at the, screaming at the TV or, 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 or their uh, stereo. <laughs> <laughs> Computer. Stereo? Man, this guy. <laughs> Good think of it. Shout out the ladder, gang. If you're anything like me, you're always putting stuff off to the last minute, and sometimes you can get away with it, but when it comes to term coverage, life insurance, you don't want to play around. 
It's time to choose life insurance through Ladder. It's 100% digital, so you're not dealing with doctors, needles, or paperwork when you apply for $3 million or less in coverage. That's bonkers. They're giving it away. Just answer a few questions about your health in an application. Guys, it's easy peasy. You go over there. Life insurance is something you, you push off, but I started thinking I got to do something, and Ladder is it. It takes just a few minutes to apply, and when you find out you're instantly approved, there are no hidden fees, and you can cancel at any time. You can even get a full refund if you change your mind in the first 30 days. So get on it. Life insurance costs more as you age. So save some cash and take care of it ASAP. Here's the turkey. Go to ladderlife.com slash garbage today to see if you're instantly approved. That's ladder, L-A-D-D-E-R, life.com slash garbage. Ladderlife.com slash garbage. Do it, gang. Wow. Show okay, girls. two different movies. What has a better rating on uh, Rotten Tomatoes? Strip these. Yeah. What's Showgirls got? Uh, <laughs> two titties way down. 23. Oh. On what? 23 and 37. Probably panned Rotten by Tomatoes? The, that's all critics. Yeah. What, are the, the, what are the fans? What are the, what are the, Those judgments don't compare to 90s movies. It doesn't translate. It was a different time. Get out of here with oh, that. Oh, wait, no. Strip tease is worse. 13 and 24. There we go. The Rotten Tomatoes is uh, it's all bullshit. We don't fuck with them. Okay. Yeah. They said no to my special, too. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I don't know if we've ever touched on this one, but it's funny. This is from Mike. Ever get invited to the bachelor party but not the wedding? I've done this three times. Man, talk That's about you know being... You're, That's you're, you're a good time. Talk about being the side piece. Yeah, you're a good time in the strip club and a, and a bad time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're not the kind of guy that meets Nana. No, you're, you're what's known as a, a brand risk. Yeah, yeah, you're meeting Jesse Spano from fucking strip team. Yeah, you've ruined a couple of parties. That's how you get that moniker. Mm-hmm. Damn. This That's guy, how you're a good this guy time, could though. Score blow. You got to keep them around. Crazy. I think my brother did that a couple times. I don't think I ever did. I never really went on that many bachelor parties. Did one in New Orleans. No money to do that. Went to Miami. I also no money to do that. And I just recently did one in New York. I've only I went to one in college because we had to because it was an older brother, and we had to like drive the older guys down there. It was gross. And then uh, the one from my brother, which was, which was a nice dinner. And mm-hmm. a couple of beers. It's the way to do it now. Yeah. Nice dinner, a couple of drinks. A couple of cocktails. I saw a TikTok that went crazy viral of this chick being like, hey, if your husband's bachelor party was at Vegas at this pool, at like this hotel, he cheated on you. Let's find this guy. I think I saw that. Crazy, dude. Yeah. There's also... Uh, uh, so many dudes must have been sweating, bro. There's also a thing I heard, too. I forget what it is, uh, but there's like these Facebook groups mm-hmm. that... Uh, these girls are in where they uh, it's like Tinder have you met this guy is he a piece of shit type deal yes have you met are you talking to them people are like I've been dating that guy for three years or whatever (laughs) you know what I mean it's all that kind of shit fucking setting the trap it's funny so be careful out there (laughs) if you see me on Tinder it's I'm doing research for a bit a lot of speed traps out there boys keep it under the limit Mm. Oh, I respect it. Yeah. Um, all right, let's see here. This is Tyler, ten dollar new ten dollar homie. There Never you had go. him on red. Shout out to Thanks, you. Welcome, pal. welcome to the party. Welcome to the um, spot. Are you garbage? If instead of buying you red umbro shorts for your middle school soccer team, your dad bought you red sweatpants from Walmart and cut them into shorts. Ooh. That's a rough I mean, there's no way you fit in. Like just optically, someone's gonna be like, "That kid's running around and cut off sweatpants." Oh, those sweat those sweatpants roll when you cut them. Roll. Oh, yeah, they don't they don't hold. They need a seam at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, that is a tough spot, man. I've been uh, in that spot where yeah. we weren't getting the we weren't getting the name brand of something. The life's a beach hat. Were, were <laughs> You're big. behind home plate and hockey mask. <laughs> <laughs> life's a beach hat. Oh, but, man, we used to have the worst gear. Like for that kind of for like little league like McGregor cleats mm-hmm. that we got that were like literally plastic. <laughs> I got the blister threes. Oh, <laughs> dude, I got the two small fours. Brutal, like soccer shoes. Brutal. Miter was a big cheap brand too. I do you remember Miter. Miter. Yeah, MT Miter cleats. Sounds nice. Miter or Miter. I remember seventh and eighth grade football. Seventh or eighth grade. I think it would have to have been seventh. I played the whole season in baseball cleats. Because they had the flap in the front. Uh huh. <laughs> Wait, you were playing what? Football with baseball cleats. <laughs> 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 
How many outs do we have? <laughs> I swear to God, man, it was rough. Damn. And we didn't, I didn't have like, I had to wear, I feel like I was in like warm winter socks that were like thick and went up to, like they weren't the socks I should be wearing in wearing cleats. Mm-hmm. This, guy, this guy's got no fucking ankle support. <laughs> Brutal. You're in dress socks with the little suspenders. The stirrups. <laughs> the, the stockings that ladies wear that go up to their thigh. Pair of those. Dude, my dad was, I guess, my brother's baseball coach. Uh, and he, I mean, he used to roll around with this bag of gear that must have been from 1978. It was in like one of those old army canvas bags, like the big tube bags. Put the bats in there. Yeah, dude, it would be the bats, the catcher gear. And I remember he used to make me carry it. I'm like, dude, it was probably 40 pounds heavier than I was as a kid. And probably it was, they were like four feet tall. Man, and that thing, I remember pulling stuff out of it, like helmets and shit, being like, these can't be fucking approved by the, you know. You got a bullet. Wants, <laughs> wants an old German army helmet. <laughs> Got this spike on All right. It's it's shirts shirts versus Germans today. Uh, oh man, those baseball helmets. Remember then the, and then somebody would catch lice? The whole team would wait. get wiped out. <laughs> that, 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 I think when I they they got a handle on life between <laughs> well, when you were a kid and I was because it wasn't a prevalent. No one ever. Uh, no one ever called. Everybody it, got got when I was a kid. Everybody. This kid rolling in, just <laughs> him and his him and sleeping his... at the kennels. What were you doing? He would just see a family come into school, like a second grader, third all grader, shaved fifth heads. All shaved heads. Dude. The mom's dropping them off. <laughs> She's got a shaved head. Signing them in. Yeah. The dog's all shaved. Uh, yeah, no, we never had that. And also, man, those baseball helmets. I have an odd. I, at the time, my head was too big for like most of the kid one, so I had to use a grown up one. <laughs> Talk about extra large, huh? <laughs> But the extra large ones were too big, man. And that there's a sound that that makes in your Woo! head when it rattles back and forth. It's fucking burned into my brain. Yeah, I got hit a couple times, and getting hit with one of those in the front, that line right here, when that would that would hit your forehead. Mm -hmm. None of them had any padding sting. or anything. It was all chewed out. Mm -hmm. A dog got into it or something. <laughs> man, and those. Uh, I want to say they were like, what was it? The, those. Those. Baseball coach shorts, the bike shorts. Yeah, B I C, right? B I K. No, they were. It was B I K E. B I. Really? I want to say yeah. like there was like Vic or Bic shorts. Too. Nah, bike was a nice one. Shout out to Mister Evers. He used to rock those all the time. Yeah, those dude things. was ripped. My neighbor's dad would rock. I mean, he wore them. He was made for them. If I had the body, I would wear them all the time. They're kind of back now. The young kids are wearing the short shorts. Are they? Yeah. Okay. Oh. She's got the next episode, me and you sitting here. <laughs> Dressed like umpires. Uh, yeah, that also reminded me, too. You know what's back? Those long earrings, the chain earrings with, like, the cross or, like, you know, whatever. For ladies or dudes? Dudes. It's got the dangle. I uh, told you Pat had one of those, and we were, like, eight Like years the George old. Michaels. Yeah. Yeah. Pat showed up. George to, Michael. Speaking of baseball, Pat showed up to baseball game with that with a skull and crossbones. I was like... <laughs> It's like, who's your dad, Barry Bonds? This is crazy, dude. He's got a pretty, Cuban link he's stuck yeah, in. Yeah, I'm like, what? The f what are you, an all star? Pretty, pretty tough for a 165 batting average. Here, Stutsky. Getting Billy Mays A's over here. <laughs> Shout out to Pat. Uh, yeah, I remember being like, damn, dude, that's crazy. There was always that one friend who had the sweetest gear. Whether they stunk or were good, they always had the tightest gear. I don't think any of my crew ever had good gear. I honest, like, no one had... G we played street hockey a bunch, and that was these pads. The, we, had, we did have the goalie pads that we got from... I don't even know who. You stole them. My, I'm sure Danny stole them from somebody. Yeah. Same thing. We had a waffle. That's what the, the thing's called. Stolen. And then there was like a, you know, a baseball or like, you know. you, have, you Catcher's mask. Yeah. And a, and a glove, like a baseball glove. Yeah. We never had the. Looking like a punter from the 70s. <laughs> Just the one bar. Ooh, that was a tough look. Yeah. Man, I'm but glad we never they got had, rid of that. We never had good gear. No, there was one kid when we played street hockey. There was one kid in the neighborhood. Yeah, who, one kid that had good gear. Who had all, and we fucking ruined it. Mm -hmm. Destroyed it all. 
Someone having a net was big time. If somebody if somebody had a net. Totally. And, and it didn't matter if the sewer drain was t 50 yards away. That ball was going, going in. in. Man, that ruined the day. I felt like I was in the sandlot trying to get the ball out of there to, so you could play again. Do you have a two by four that you put over it? Oh, that's smart thinking. Look at you. I don't think well, so. Well, it, Man, is, it is until genius. you forget about it and you flood the block when it rains. <laughs> <laughs> the city's coming down on you. That's smart thinking. Look at that. Mm. What I was going to say before is... Uh, we used to play with the trash can, too. That was big. It's uh, it's the spring. I got a lot of my cousins, little cousins, uh, nephews and stuff like that are all in sports. Getting Uncle Hank's getting hit up for the donations, for the fundraisers. Mm -hmm. Get, I'm getting crushed. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like a jihad in already. Really? They know to come to Uncle Hank. Everybody else is smart with their money, and they got kids and stuff like that. They see me walk on the lot. Yeah. They're selling me the undercoating, everything. Mm -hmm. Paying for half the, half the benefit. But I, I guess we paid in high school. We didn't pay for our uniforms. That stuff was all provided by the school. From what I Are remember, these club teams? No, they're school teams. They got to pay for I think their they shit. They cut funding a bunch. It's crazy. All that funding got cut. I mean, we had. I remember in. I don't know. I don't know anything. And in, in wrestling, we were we were in the basement. The wrestling room was in the basement, and there was a storage uh, room in the wrestling room. And dude, they had stuff from like going back to like the '60s, and we used to raid this thing. And we'd have like the old school gear, you know, to wear mm. socially and stuff like that. The old school tees, all that kind of stuff. And the stuff we had like my senior year was pretty good. Like we had, we all had matching outfits and everything like that. Everything was, you know, real organized. I don't think we paid for any of that stuff. But the kids now, I think they all, the parents are but getting hit up for that. There was fun, right? I remember like fun, like there was like booster clubs and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, to like, keep things moving. Yeah, sure. But I, I think now, may, I, I have no idea. Maybe a lot of that funding got cut. I don't know. But I remember my my girl cousin telling me like, yeah, they don't they don't give me any of that stuff. You got to buy all that shit. That's crazy. Crazy. The one thing that I uh, the like helmets and stuff. Yeah, I feel like. Oh, yeah, that's not it. All right. I do feel like maybe it was like, hey, if you want to play football and you're going to actually like make it out of the practice and be on the team, it might have been like, oh, it's one hundred and fifty bucks or something. Maybe I know we didn't pay for any of our football stuff. I'm, I'm I, but I, I, I can foresee of like there is. Some sort of barrier to entry of some sort of cost. Sure. That it's like, hey, it's 80 bucks to rent the gear for the season. Or I something. remember we even had like options for face masks and stuff like that because it was always a few, only a few like real big ones that had like all the all the grills in it. Yeah. And like, you know, some linebacker wanted that or something like that to look tough. Mm -hmm. All the neck rolls you could get. <laughs> he got two of them. Oh, dude, we used to have two of them um, out there like this. I got my nephew's confirmation coming up. Okay. Got to grease him. Sure. I, what do I give him? Confirmation. Godson. Confirmation. It's your godson. Yeah. What is a confirm? That's that's like where you establish that you're, that you're down like, for the team, right? Yeah, it's like your Catholic bar mitzvah. You become an adult in the world of the Lord. It's like the give Catholic a, draft. Give it a goog. I'm yeah, curious give it to actually, see what, the, uh, what, what, I don't the, what know. the actual... My wife was asking me, you know what's crazy? What? She views us as very religious. You and I? My family. Uh-huh. As she's like, I, as, you know, and it's just because she grew up with, like, she grew up with Christians, not Catholics per se. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, it's like you know the bird, the the piece goes to church, right? I don't think every week, but she'll hit it. She hits it. Yeah, yeah. Patty goes every week, man. Early too, and if not, she's listening to it in her back pocket. Jesus. Yeah, they broadcast it. They're quite an operation over there. <laughs> uh, but it was weird for, for them to be like, yeah, you're. The label is very religious. It's crazy to me, Oof. dude. Well, when you read this, she's not that far off. Confirmation means accepting responsibility for your faith and destiny. Uh, a sacrament in which the Holy Ghost is given to those already baptized, baptized in order to make them strong and perfect Christians and soldiers of Jesus Christ. Let's go. There you go. What's up, pussy? Yeah. <laughs> Keep running your fucking mouth. <laughs> see, that doesn't see if I don't pull your card. That doesn't sound like a cult at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... I don't know. What do I grease? Google what uh, a confirm. Uh, how much? It's got to be monetary. I got to grease them. Grease them. What are you going to give him a blender? <laughs> give him an air fryer? You're it's a man used. now. I only used it. <laughs> Here's a pizza oven. Like new. <laughs> Hold on. Is there a party? Yes. Okay. Is it a dinner or is it a party? 
It's a dinner. It's uh, a dinner, so it's tight. Yeah, it's my immediate family. Okay. Maybe one or two, you know. Um, but it's not like a... What are you looking for here? I mean, I have a number in my head that'll wow everybody. <laughs> I mean... Do you know what I gave my one cousin for graduation? Herpes? <laughs> Terrible. I'm in a box. You know what I gave him? Uh, yeah. Gave him five bills. Mm-hmm. I was, that's, what, that's what I was leaning. That's where I was this living. Is saying Penn State, man. Two hunch is about Av. I think two hunch, two, three hundred, you're, you're blowing everybody else away. But they all got kids and stuff like that. It's a d- different curve. Yeah, it's a different thing. I'm coming in. I got no kids. What do you want to do? You want to go heavy, huh? You like this kid? I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> I send my wife. Do the Joey Diaz. Uh, send him 500. And- I don't know, but uh, he, they, you know, he, you know, he, I, I grease him with shoes and shit like that a bunch. Um, like it, you know, it's not like it's not like I'm abs- and I'm I'm an absentee uncle where I'm not okay. like you know I'm 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 present. And, how, uh, how old is this kid? How old do you, how old for confirmation? He's like twelve or thirteen. Yeah, I think he's twelve. Depend. Yeah, these kids got expensive taste these days. They do. Man. I haven't seen a T-shirt under a hundred dollars. Well, I mean that's that's crazy. I'm not doing that. But they like name brand shit. Yes, which is great. It's Instagram. Multiple pairs of Jordans and expensive Nike sneakers. Can you imagine? No, I couldn't. Never. I would get. Once I got older and was like a little more into not fashion, but like where you're, (laughs) I was into high fashion. But when you're aware of like, oh, I want to look like this, like in junior high, when we started skating, it was like, that is a look that you try to adhere to. Sure. So those shoes could be in the world of shoes at that time. I mean, they weren't like fucking Jordans or anything, but Mm -hmm. they would be like, you know. 70, 80 bucks. Yeah, they're 60 bucks. Those Gap jeans started getting expensive too. Gap, who are they? They're nuts. When we, Go in there. It's like fucking. In know. high school, they were those button flies were getting expensive. Mm-hmm. But man, those things look sweet. <laughs> Press dams. I don't know. I'll probably do. A, I'll do a couple hundred. Grease them. There you go. You're a good kid. Tussle them on the head. Where the bar? Well, at? is this an ego thing? Are you worried about anybody beating you out, or you don't care about that stuff? I don't care about that. Uh, see, I always want to be top dog. Can, can at I, the dinner. Can I throw a little conspiracy theory at you for these kids? Sure. Money monetarily wise. Mm-hmm. I almost feel like it would be better to give a kid an Amazon gift card than cash. Because like, where are they going to go spend this cash? It's not like our days where you go to the mall or go get whatever you Ooh, wanted. It's pretty good. Like everything is online and you're ordering everything. Where are you going to go actually buy shit? Yeah, this kid ain't hanging out at the mall and shit. It's true. Hmm. They still, I don't know. I don't know. And they fan it out and post it on Instagram or yeah. something. Yeah, <laughs> flex on, flex on his boys. Let the ops know what's up. <laughs> there you get got. Kippy got the ops going crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a really good point. I don't know. I mean, I guess they could spend it on like snacks and like little it's things. It's not Amazon though. You wouldn't get him an Amazon card. Why not? It's not I, my neighbor. Yeah, what are they getting on Amazon? What are kids? Literally buy? anything. I think. Yeah, that- but they're not buying clothes on Amazon. Who's buying clothes? I guess the, the, I don't know. I mean, I wish one of us had kids so we could weigh in with a knew what was happening here. But I would assume if it's like if he wants, I don't know, let's say like new basketball shoes or something for next season. Yeah. It's like, hey, mom. I think they are going to the store to get those. That Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But, but like he's going, hey, mom, I want this. And my sister's probably like, fucking absolutely not. And he's like, can I use the money that, you know. Yeah. Uncle Kevin gave me, and she's like, yeah, probably. <laughs> Wait till he finds out they're counterfeit. <laughs> Uncle Kevin gave me a dinner in an envelope for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're good. Say, so you got to say you got to play. You want to play in craps. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you go no card, cash in hand. I want to do, listen, this is uh, uh, cash in hand to a kid. I'm going off primarily my experience. Mm-hmm. If someone hands you a card at an event where people are gifting you money or on your birthday, you don't care what the card says. You I know, want but you the love cash. when that money falls out, though. Well, that's what I'm saying. Woo! So it's all I don't I don't need him to act. You see like, a 50 fall at it. I don't need him to go like, oh, and like, you know, have to like not make eye contact with the money and then like read through the poem or whatever. Buddy. Put the cash in your pocket. I'm on your team. You yeah. want you want to be the coolest uncle of all time? Yeah. Hit him with fold it up. Hit him with the old school drug dealer. Dap up. That's pretty good. <laughs> His hands are too small. 
I'll drop that. <laughs> the waiter picks it up. Yeah, no, I, I would probably just do cash if it was up to me. My wife probably is not going to go for it. But also, I'm a dirtbag. You shouldn't do that. It's like, you give a card. But I would dap up the fucking, I'd palm it to him. <laughs> he he goes, to see it. Go to the guy in the corner. He'll straighten you out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need to connect for that. Hit the kid Talk up. to your Uncle Foley. <laughs> I'm waiting outside doing this. In a trench coat. Uh, Give me some fried mozzarella before you come out. Okay, let's see here. I think we got time for one or two more. Uh, this one's from Indie Home. Is it garbage that the first time I had facial hair, my mom put nair on my upper lip and it had and it left burn marks afterwards? I never. What the hell, man? That's nair's the the uh the the illegal chemical the wax no it's not wax it's chemical it wipes off burns off it's yeah, like a foam burns the hair i remember that and kathy was all about that they were pushing this one thing late 90s epi apple stop and spray and we usually go it was in like a like a suntan lotion sprayer okay and you would wipe it on and you would spray it on and then just like the hair would wipe right. That was the infomercial. It's no good for you. And I remember being, I had even then, and I'm pro chemical. Sign me up with the chemis. I'm sure. all right. But even then, I was like, that's got to be how uh, that's from another country. Bad news. And as you can see, no hair and only the slightest cancerous residue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that no was good. like, uh, I never tried. That shit would never fly in our house. Maybe she had nair, like when it came out. Or you're something. not supposed to use it on your face. It's for your legs. It's for your legs. I've I've heard of people putting it in shampoo as a prank. I would. Kill oh, I've somebody. heard. I don't know. Is that like? Do you know firsthand accounts or that's? Like, oh, that's always a friend. That was like heard internet lore of like yeah, at spring break they really got them when they yeah. that kind that's of. That's like the visine. Did the visine really give you the shits? Oh, I think like aggressively. No oh, kidding. Huge, big time. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Huh. Maybe I'm eating a lot of vaseine. Uh, <laughs> vaseine. Vaseine. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, I think yeah. That's all internet lore like i was mad at my roommate so i you know whatever whatever type shit i'll tell you what is a good prank when a guy's at the like an outdoor shower and somebody comes up and keeps putting shampoo in his that's hair that's fake are they fake oh my god you don't know? think at some point you go what the hell's happening here yeah you just look up and then keep going you're like my mom when you <laughs> when you believe videos no way i could keep foley in an outdoor shower for 30 45 minutes with that bit well now i would know what's up Plus, I don't wash my hair. <laughs> I got my wits about me. Good luck with that. Uh, all right, we got to wrap it up, gang. Gang, we love you to death. Yes. Uh, just another reminder, Kippy Special is out right now, right Big here on the well. Are You Garbage YouTube page. Check them both out. Mm -hmm. Directed by uh, Toby McMullen. Shout out to Luke. Shout out to the whole squad, Tommy C. We can't thank you guys enough for being at those shows, for sharing and all that stuff. We love you. Grab, a tickets for, grab some tickets for the live show, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.